Well, I'm here with our good friend Donna Wright from Black Gold. And Donna, you know, there's a lot of things you can do as fall and winter start approaching that can really bring the garden into your home. So we're going to be talking about forcing bulbs. Now, you can do that two ways. You can mm -hmm. either plant them in soil mm -hmm. or you can not even use the soil Ready and just soil. use rock. You can so use white rock. I'm going to start with this one here. Yes. So what have we got here? Just some right. black gold soil, Black right? gold, all organic soil. So it's not too much fertilizer for the the bulbs they uh -huh. like it more of a natural and it does have drainage saucer so you either yep. have to have a hole or a pot that collects the water right too. so if you're planting in soil make sure that you'll be able to water it and, and catch the drainage yeah if you're having it in the house and it's not as particular as when you're outside about planting but you do want to cover them with a couple of inches of the soil mm -hmm. and there's a uh, four in this package so i'm going to be creative here do a little one in the middle and then three on the outside right and at the uh, Independent Garden Centers, you can find this, uh, the paper whites. Yeah. They're the best for forcing indoors. And there are other bulbs that work, but these really do work mm -hmm. well for this. These don't require the cooling period like some of the other bulbs. Yeah. Now, while I finish this one up, Donna, what do you, you have some white rock just in a bowl. Right. This one here doesn't have any drainage because we're going to use water and it's going to continue to uh, add water to it as we need it. So I'm going to take a package of that and what we're going to do is spread that out. And then we're just going to set these on top like this, the roots down, the little nose on, up to the sky. And then we're going to go ahead and add some more rock just to stabilize those a little bit. Uh -huh. and, and you really do have to stabilize these because they can get top heavy as they grow and the blooms start mm -hmm. coming on. Yeah, so you want plenty of rock or whatever you're going to use to stabilize them. And the really fun thing too, Donna, is you can even use this to cover up the ones that you planted in the soil if you just want a really cool kind of decorative finish to the product. But in a, it's not just the white, you can also use uh, larger gravel, smaller gravel. There's all different colors, sand and gravel that you can mm -hmm. use too. Yep, lots of applications that yeah, be fun. there really is. Now, of course, what's the last thing we do? The last thing we, we, we do. We have to water, don't we? <laughs> right, what we're gonna do on these, uh, in the rocks here, William, is we're gonna add enough water just so it comes to the bottom of those um, where the rocks end. So you're just you're just basically getting it to the top of the rocks. You're not covering the bulbs right. at all. Yep, just like that. And then you just check it every couple days and as they absorb the water you might have to add a little bit more and um, that's it. And as they grow bigger you might have to add more but right. just keep an eye on it every day. Yep. And then the ones in the pot you just water like a regular yep. house plant would be watered in. Now this how long will it take now? about eight to ten weeks before they're, they're up and they'll be blooming. So you really could time this like if you wanted them for a holiday table or for mm -hmm. you know like host or hostess gifts, you right. could time it for that as well. That'd be a perfect gift. That's great. Well we hope we've given you some ideas on what you can do with forcing bulbs in your own home. Thank you so much Donna. Thank you.